This week on Review Geek, the top three hypercars on planet Earth. Starting off with the cheapest one of the three, if you can still consider it cheap at a whopping $847,000, the Porsche 918 with a 4.6 liter V8 and two electric motors pumping at, out a heart stopping 887 horsepower, going to 0 to 16 in 2.6 seconds and 0 to 100 in 6.0 seconds. Sadly, my car doesn't even do 0 to 60 in 6 seconds. The Porsche has a mid engine and a front engine. That's right, mid and front engines. Four wheel drive, seven speed, dual clutch with auto or auto with manual shifting mode. And it goes a standing mile in 10.2 seconds and a top speed of 211 miles an hour. Next up on the list, the one and only McLaren P1. Coming in at a staggering $1.15 million. At its heart, it has a twin turbo charged intercooled 3.8 liter V8 and one electric motor for a combined horsepower of 903 horsepower. 903. That is crazy. Also, it's a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car. It does 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds, 0 to 100 in 5.1 seconds. That's mind blowing. And does a standing quarter mile in an even 10 seconds with a top speed of 217 miles an hour. Crazy. And the last, but not the least, but definitely the most expensive hypercar is the Ferrari La Ferrari with a 6.3 liter V12 and one electric motor for a combined horsepower hold your pants for this one 950 horsepower and with the with a base price of 1.42 million dollars it's worth it because you can do 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. That's faster than 0 to 100 than most cars are faster than 0 to 60. Also, it does the standing mile in less than 10 seconds. That's right. It's a street legal production car that does a 10 seconds or less quarter mile at 9.8 seconds for the quarter mile with a top speed of a whopping 218 miles an hour. Now, being a hypercar, what does that mean? Well, it means that they have a combination of electric motors and a petrol motor. So you may ask, okay, well, if they're electric, then what type of gas mileage are these, these monsters are getting? Well, for the Porsche, unfortunately, I couldn't find any U.S. standards or EPA estimates. So unfortunately, I can't give you that information. But for the McLaren P1, it's an estimated 16 miles per gallon in the city and 21 on the highway. For a car that produces 903 horsepower, 16 miles per gallon in the city is phenomenal. Now, the Ferrari, it doesn't have as great as gas mileage, but I mean, come on, it's 950 horsepower and it's a Ferrari, but it still gets a a respectable 12 miles per gallon in the city and 16 miles per gallon on the freeway. Now, I didn't list these in, you know, the best to the worst or anything like that. I just named off the top three hypercars on planet Earth today. And I just got to say, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. As always, like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.